hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is notando and i make videos on construction lifestyle and travel, travel. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know my intro this one Take your so friend. on today's video we have two and she is a QS in mining and a few months ago actually I went onto my Instagram and asked you guys if you have any questions for a mining QS so today we are going to be answering your question I have a national diploma in civil engineering from TVET, from a TVET college, I did quantity surveying as one of my modules. Mm -hmm. A, what are my chances of being employed in your field of work? Um, I actually have a colleague who has a BTEC in civil engineering. And it's very high. Mm, so I think her work ethic and the, the, way, the fact that she was like, mm, I'm actually interested in this, and then her bosses allowed her to look into actually doing QS work. That's where she developed her skills. Because I mean, you, the degree is one thing. The experience and having the skills is another mm -hmm. so i feel like if you are exposed to what qss do i think you can do it yep yep so the likelihood it's possible but it depends on if you're in an environment that allows you to do it yes and yeah. if you actually pursue it yeah if you state that that's what you want to do yeah does the mining sector recognize my diploma from college yes. yeah it does yeah mm-hmm what short courses or what courses can I do to boost my diploma so that I can be employed in this field? Um, you have to do your BTEC because it allows you as well to um, register for council. Uh, PRQSA. Yes, PRQSA. So mm -hmm. I think. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what you need if you're going to be a consultant mm -hmm. in QS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I suggest you do your BTEC. But now it's not longer BTEC, it's a postgraduate diploma. Okay. They remove BTEC. I think now it's postgraduate. So I think you should do your postgraduate diploma. Okay. Yeah. Um, or also you can do like short courses in project management. Mm. Mm. Construction management. Mm. All those little things. Mm. They come to. They can't also for CPD points. Yes. 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 How to venture into mining space or pursue mining? It depends on where you apply. Mm, like, apply to companies yeah. that do mining projects. Yeah, there's mm. there's a lot of QS firms, but some of them focus on certain industries like your commercial, your civils and structural, and then your mining, and then you have your all rounders mm. that do all of that. I feel like you already answered this one, but what are the roles of a QS as a mining QS? The same thing. I feel like as a QS, the fundamentals are all the same, no matter which industry you're in. Famous Costing, circuits, contractual knowing, management, mm, knowing how to measure, mm -hmm. takeoffs, estimates, dealing with subcontractors, or contractors, mm, mm. Um, saving the client money. Mm, yeah, it's, it's the same. It's your skills. You do the same thing. You just do it in different locations or areas. In different capacities as yes, well. Yes. So if you're contracting um, QAs, you deal with subcontractors. Yes. When you work with the clients, you deal with contractors. Yes. But it's like the same thing at a bigger scale yes. or a smaller scale. Yes. Same, same. You can say risks are also... Different, mm. yes. It's a bigger risk because it's more money that you're working with. True. I think yes. the risk in contractor, being a contractor QS is more than consulting. Being a sub... Uh, consulting. You think so? Mm. You have a fixed budget. You cannot go oh, over your yes, budget. Oh, yes, 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 Here you can negotiate with the client, yes. move things around, make amendments, yes. variations. Mm. Okay, I it's get you. It's an hourly type of yeah. rate. Yeah. So you're like, okay, you asked us to do this, but now you ask us to do more. We need to amend our contract. Okay, yeah. okay. Does mining QS pay better than building and civil engineering QS? Depends on where you, you work. work. So it's not just be just because you're in mining doesn't mean you get mm -hmm. a lot. And because people pay you according to what you were last paid, mm -hmm. usually you can yes. stay in a in a small space whether yes. you're jumping industries or not. Yes, so it yeah. depends on where you work, guys. And how you start off, and how you negotiate, and, and all of those things. If you are applying yourself, if the also the company if it's doing well, if they're getting a lot of jobs, if they are well known. So it depends on where you work. It's not even about the degree is going to be like... Or the sector. Yes. Or, yeah, mm -hmm. you could be working for a small company. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Some companies have that whole profit share thing as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it depends. It honestly depends. Yeah. Because you can work in a big firm, but because there's so many overheads, so many costs, the cost goes into actually 
running the business and little to actually the workers versus a small company where the overhead is not that much and you can be awarded, you can have bonuses and all that. So it's, it depends. Mm. It really depends. Okay, the questions are getting a bit repetitive. Okay, what are the requirements Sorry, to become a mining QS academically? Same. 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 There's no mining course. Mm. Well, we do have a mining course. Yeah, but it's not. Everyone's doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's not like it's, it's, this is what you study to become a mining QS. Mm. This is what you study to become a civil QS. Mm. If the baseline is the same. Mm. How do you see mining QS in the future and job wise? Hmm. Depends. Dep how do I see it? It's mm. it's gonna be the same. I feel like. I mean, maybe it's consistent. Yeah, if the mining sector becomes Boom. more booms yes mm. i think then it's going to be something that is in high demand but how do i see it in terms of it being beneficial or it taking more space in the qs industry maybe could but i think as a qs being a mining qs and a commercial qs at the end of the day i can change from any okay. type of industry mm. You know, so it's not like you're stuck in mm, mining now. Mm, yeah, okay. It's the skills, like we said, QSing, you do the same skills in different areas at the end of the day. Okay. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being a mining QS? Um, it's not too fast, like. You're right, mm. actually. It's not like being on site mm. with accuracy in, in payments, mm. whatever, arguing with subcontractors. Mm. It's a bit more chill. Yes, because I'm not gonna lie. the project life will be 12 years. You're doing like underground stuff. Yeah, I'm doing underground. Okay, and no, you're proper surface. mining. Okay, yes. And surface as okay, well. Okay, okay, no, so I'm so sorry. So it's the same, but how's the benefit? The advantages. The advantages. Is that it's long. It's long. I feel like it's okay for me as a consulting mind QS. I feel like it's more relaxed versus a mind QS who's in a contracting pace. Okay. It's different for them, yeah. they have less, more stress than me. Yeah, they have to deliver the project and finish up what they are meant to do. I just need to make sure they do it and then pay them. Okay, you see, yeah. so it's it depends. And then those that's an advantage. Yeah. What is a disadvantage? You will go and live in the middle of Remote. Northern Cape, mm. in Karoo, with yeah. one shop right <laughs> in the middle of the whole town, with nothing, because you have to work there, because uh. there's a project there. Oh. That's like the traveling, the going, being away from home, like your life changes. Like you're not always going to be in one place. Mm. You'll be moving around different mines, different projects. So that's the problem, and you, the projects are in remote areas, mm, like that's true. far away from everything. So mm. that's where it's like the disadvantage. Yeah, but they compensate for that. But you have to choose what you want, hey, what you prioritize. Mm, no? mm. Okay. What would you advise someone who wants to venture into mining QAC? I think it's more what what would I advise someone who wants to go into QAC. Yes, yeah, the same. Yeah. Um, make sure you have good people skills. <sighs> you must know how to speak. Know your fundamentals measuring. The best QSs are the ones that know how to measure. Because we, I feel like, measuring wasn't one the most important thing when we were studying. Adverts, mm. specifically. I know that other universities really mm. prioritize measuring. And they excelled. Like they oh, grew fast. Mm. Yes, I've seen that as well. They would take up more responsibility in the workplace because you, we had accounting, economics, we had all mining, these, surveying, dude, law, and research. All we mm. took up so much time, dude. And it was like when we went there, we did a year of, of QSC. actual measuring mm. and stuff. That's true. So I think you need to know the fundamentals. I th up. Yeah, mm. I think we're designed to do like more feasibility studies and thinking mm. and mm. solving for X and whatever. When other QSs and other varsities are made to do the actual, like the, the mm. what makes you seen. Yes, 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 yes. I would say contracting QSs was for those that were more focused on measuring. Yeah, and then but I didn't day, even everywhere. Yeah, like measuring, measuring. <laughs> learn like love it or hate it, yeah. do it. And to the best of your ability, know how to mm. back up your measures and you'll go far. Yeah. Mm. And also it's what you expose at work. 
Yes, sometimes mm. yes, you're right. You so. could be staying at just measuring, and then someone will see, okay, you're growing, they then give you more responsibility of looking after contractors, mm. subcontractors. Mm. Then there you brush up on the people skills, needing to know negotiations like, yeah being organized yeah keeping track of your work making sure you do things on time then another step we have to know contractual stuff yes like clauses yes what's allowed what's not yes, allowed yes. Uh, how to claim extension of time whether mm -hmm. or not it's still within the contractual yes. period so yeah, yeah, yeah it's based on what you expose and how your career the is work, the responsibilities growing. that you're yeah. given yes yeah. you're right so but start measure yeah mm. yeah <laughs> what is it that you enjoy most as a mining qs and the best thing that has ever happened to you as a mining qs <laughs> <laughs> the best the be okay what is the best thing um as much as i'm like oh the traveling is uh, Ooh, mm, the traveling to travel mm, to Botswana. yes yes yeah i think the traveling is good you get it you can be like you're going to Australia, you're going to um, Chile, you're going to Wherever Canada. Wherever the mine is. Yes, yes. and meet your clients and... Sierra Leone, yes. whatever. Yes, oh, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> that's what I said, it's the oh. <laughs> so I, I, She's fine. It depends, like the traveling, you get exposed to a lot of things. Um, what's the best thing? I think going to Botswana, leaving South Africa for the first time and not having to pay for it. <laughs> traveling mm, traveling mm. and the company wanting you to be exposed to that. i think that was the best opportunity for me going to oh Botswana. that's nice yeah but it's nice um what are the common things that mining that mining qs has with construction qs and the difference between those two the common things are that they are qs's mm, yes the difference is that they may be measuring different things yes yeah, so instead of measuring a building, you're measuring concrete or oh, stockpiling yes, or yes. backfilling. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's so what it's you, this, you measure. It's what, you, it's what you're working with, but yeah. it's the same. It's the same. So the similarities. Like, I don't think a person who did building or contracting QS would struggle as a mining QS. Yeah. When we mean contracting, we mean someone who's probably doing civil stuff. Com buildings, hotels, mm. commercial yes, stuff. Yes. They won't struggle in mind because the fundamentals, you measure a block of concrete the same way you measure it in a mine versus in the building. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Maybe it could be like, depending on where, which country your mine is, yes, they yeah. could have different laws or a different standard of yes. measuring. Yes, there's, yes. All, there's different mine specifications, especially when you are measuring stuff underground yeah like the drilling the excavation the development yeah. there's different mining or specific from, yes from specific. different countries no yes and also the mining sector Themselves. has its own oh, mine I measuring know that. Mm. Um, specifications because you won't get the same spec in sand okay you will but the civil side yeah the engineering side but then in terms of actually digging underground and blasting and drilling and all that there's a mine specification, specification. does it depend on what you're looking for like let's say it's like a gold mine no versus. all of them are it's like for sands okay sands okay is used all over for roads civils structurals etc and then the mining spec whatever you dig is all about the development mm. of what you're digging underground okay. so there's specs about that okay yeah they have a lot of rules because I mean, imagine you're underground, the safety, what you dig, how far you dig, if you're allowed to dig here, it's it's strict, it's very strict, and you have people's people lives. dying. Mm. Yeah, people's lives are on the mm. line actually because it's dangerous. In your I would say that's also like the difference. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not the difference for you as a curious, yeah, no, no, no. but the the, the, the operation, the danger yeah. of the different works. Yeah, it's, it's your. Do you have more? Do you, would you say you have more people who die in a mine than like on a commercial building? Or get um, hurt? Let me not say die, that's a bit dark. I don't know. You could say. But when I, when I would listen to like safety shares or whatever, it wouldn't be it's like, it's like a snake, but you... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but underground, what the biggest hazard is like something collapsing, like the walls Ooh, collapsing. And that's it, hey? Mm, or for example, an equipment collapsing, like your shaft your conveyors your something collapsing but like silly stuff like someone not 
putting in a hazard. It a can happen. Yeah. A harness, sorry. It could happen, but it can happen when anyway, you're on surface. Yeah. 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 Okay. So the safety in, in mining is your strict. It's very strict. Even mm. like your PPE, it's maybe you can put a picture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you have it? Is there different PPE for mining? Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, yes, I remember mm. you're wearing like a whole suit. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. it's your, you like. Strict. Even before going in, do they do tests? There? Yes, you, you have they fitness, test. you have health checks, you have, if you have to do it, like depending of on what you're doing as a, for example, foreman or engineer. Yeah. If you're going to be drilling, there's a certain type of fitness test they have to do for you. Yeah. And then even they have like a pack where if something happens and there's no not enough air, you can breathe. Really, it's giving flying. Do like it. the oxygen yes, mask. Yes. Vibes. Yeah. Oh yes, because you're underground. Mm. I've never been underground. Like, and then there's there's also like um, what they call it, um, CAS, control avoidance system. No, collision avoidance system. So that's where the machine and the people, when the machine is coming closer to you, it alerts the machine and the driver so that they need to be aware of the surroundings oh. there's a whole department of technologies when it comes to safety mm, because it's bad like the fatalities the, the there repercussions are mm. horrible like it's not like you're gonna break your leg it's like you're gonna die you're gonna die yeah. some people get driven over <gasps> by L LHD trucks and then they fall or like it's like really? the safety there is Number Strict, one for yeah. them, they have to make sure everyone it's is safe. It's not a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting yeah. actually. So we diverge, but yeah. No, no, no. That's the. I think it answers the question. Mm. Like safety, much is a very serious thing. It's so. So I'm guessing like the safety officers need to be really on point. Mm. They invest more in safety than anything else. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like it's. Your it's not What's that course that we did? I saw. Smart. Yeah. Some some track. Yeah. Did they do some track? Hey, but I think it's different for mine. Oh yeah, I think it's yeah. different for mine. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Yo. Alrighty. Are these all the questions? Is this what I sent you? Hmm. Different Hmm. They felt so long. Would you delete it? I didn't. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I hope that she answered your questions. If you have any more questions, you can ask um, uh, in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Follow her. Do you want them to follow you on Instagram and stuff? No. <laughs> Don't follow her. Last time you will see me talk working. about mining. Hey, you want to talk about food? You can, you put, you can put my LinkedIn. Okay. Mm. okay I'll add her LinkedIn in mm. the description. You can follow her and you know, I don't know, see her. Yeah, but I don't. You're yeah. not that active on LinkedIn. I need to like put a proper description of what I do. Mm. Do that. Fix your LinkedIn. Then mm. I'll add your LinkedIn in the description. And if you have any more questions, just comment in the video below, and hopefully we can maybe answer them some other day. But from what I picked up from the questions, it's like people wanting to know the differences and how to go into it. Mm. Same path, differences is that you're just in mining. Mm. How to get into it is apply for jobs that look for mining. That so maybe you can say, if you're a junior, you can say you are a junior QS looking into mining projects mm -hmm. or, mm. yeah, like mm. um, brand yourself as someone who wants to go into mining in mm. order for you to get into mining yeah and apply to you just do your research in terms of companies that work with mining in, yeah, in, in mining, mining yeah. or mining projects yeah, yeah there's a lot there's a lot there's some companies that do both there's some companies that do both in terms of engineering stuff project services so that project services part will include QSing as well okay yeah alrighty then yeah I hope you found this video useful please don't forget to like share and subscribe and let me know what other videos you'd like to or what other types of cases you'd like me to talk to <laughs> and i'll see you later in another video bye that was nice I, 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 I,